Hi friends, now I would be um, taking you through another research question for math which is called as spider. Now this is a very popular amongst the medicine schools and the way they use to search the questions um, you know and utilize it in the systematic reviews here. Now uh, here I'm just giving you the uh, orientation or introduction to it however going forward in my next video immediately I'll be taking you through um, you know the calculations and how it is being used specifically in uh, in the research areas now here you will see that the full form of spider is s stands for sample and this differs in qualitative and quantitative studies within the medicine and the other schools also i don't have to pinpoint towards it pi stands for phenomena of interest and we will see more discussion about it. D stands for design, E for evaluation and R for the research type that we are going to take you. And here I have mentioned very clearly that you can look at this particular paper, Cook A, Smith D and Booth A 2012, uh, Beyond Pico, the spider tool for the qualitative evidence synthesis. Now very few people, this is a very classic paper, uh, anyone who is interested uh, for the uh, synth uh, I mean systematic uh, analysis should definitely go ahead with it and uh, you know utilize it in their own uh, systematic reviews now that's one thing now secondly we have to understand that s when i talk about sample and i have already told you that it differs and we will see that uh, why it has to differ like if i'm talking about one patient then what is the utility of it number one number two if i'm talking to, to 100 uh, patients in my systematic review then how does it differ now there are a lot of uh, important uh, consequences for this and we would be checking out each even this one also side by side now the second one is pi now in majority of the cases we have seen that this pi phenomena of interest it includes what we call it as the behaviors experiences and interventions also sometimes so you know it's totally up to us what exactly we would like to take up in our own research question the next one is third one is the design which is the most popular one and we have seen that the effect on the strength of the analysis of the study now when I'll be picking up with one of the papers um, you know again which is the classical one not the cook by somebody else and then you will see that yes uh, design has played a very important role in the um, systematic review next next is the evaluation no it is nothing but the outcomes or the results of it and we will see that uh, this uh, one includes more of the subjective outcomes like you know our views the taste that we have collected the generalization that we are going to make with the systematic reviews how many articles we have done and uh, what is the sensitivity and the specificity uh, calculations within this particular systematic reviews then comes the last one which is the R now this is the research types and again um, you know research types uh, as we all know it can be qualitative now in the field of medicine also qualitative analysis um, is great in demand and they do a lot of it quantitative definitely yes we have got the experimental uh, research studies fully or the mixed method studies are also present now uh, when i uh, you know went over and checked out with the uh, differences between the pico and the uh, what we call it as the spider now surprisingly a lot of differences were perceived for us now i'm just going to take you through to make you understand what are these things and how important they are now in the given slide you will see that um i had uh, i mean this has been taken ad again adapted from cook and um cook a smith d booth paper only and here they have showcased that p i c and o what does the, what do they stand for <clears throat> in the same manner what are the spider stands for and here you can see very clearly they have mentioned that smaller groups of participants tend to be used in the qualitative research than in quantitative research so this term was deemed more appropriate in the sense that why the shift had come when pico was so much popular and even in the contemporary times also majority of the folks go ahead with the pico then why was there a need for spider to be introduced now here that's the differences they are showcasing it now intervention or exposure to phenomenon of the interest they are telling 
telling us that the quantitative research qualitative sorry research aims to understand the how and why of certain behaviors decisions and the individual experiences okay therefore an intervention exposure per se is not always evident in the qualitative therefore from intervention they move to what we call it as the um, phenomenon of the interest so why from comparison to design the theoretical framework used in qualitative research will determine the research method that is used um, as inferential statistics are not used in qualitative research details of the study design will help you to make decisions about the robustness of the study and the analysis now apart from that they have even said that it might increase the detection of the uh, qualitative studies in the databases in which it it is uh, present and the abstracts which are unstructured uh, ones so we will see later on how this is uh, being useful to take care and i'll show you the analysis also about that outcomes and evaluation in this they have taken same end results as quantitative research method that the outcome measures these differ depending on the research question and might contain some unobservable and subjective constructs when compared to the quantitative example um, it will be attitudes views etc etc the research type that i have already explained to you there are three varieties of it now uh, now this is the uh, shift that has been moved from pico to spider and the explanation has been given to us now the question arises now how is this uh, terms going to be now you see when they are searching or performing the systematic uh, reviews uh, you know there are uh, in uh, i mean before i can go ahead with the search terms i need to let you know that databases uh, search queries that are done they are either seven varieties uh, seven to ten varieties max to max we can say now there is a way in which and that's why i had started off with the logic one so that you know the usage of these databases becomes easier for us um, you know otherwise it is a little bit confusing and we may not be very comfortable however one can move to the domain of that logic and i have uh, created already few um, videos of mine under the playlist titled as the logic part so you can be there and you can understand now coming back to the search terms used in pico search uh, you know now here you can see that for p when they are using in certain databases how well they are going to utilize it uh, under i c and o similarly in spider tool when they are using it what would be the entire thing now why is this required reason is if i show you the next slide you will understand that the uh, process in which we are taking care using those databases okay now they are not very difficult they are very easy ones in fact if i can learn anybody in this world can learn uh, and i think a little bit of dedication and your time is required to understand these databases and how to utilize them <clears throat> they are similar to our mendeley and uh, other things also however they are more robust in the sense that they are not just storing but they are doing much more better work than the uh, ones that are present in the uh, management side now here the articles that they have taken care 953 articles that were included i told you the entire systematic reviews that we are again and, and again i'm telling you the criteria and the features the main criteria is the inclusion okay now how many articles were included now, if it was there then what was the specificity percentage and the sensitivity percentage these are the two things that they are going to continuously focus on especially when they are using these searches and this is where we need to even focus ourselves also and understand uh, them with greater details when we are uh, specially um, giving the results part of it and we will see later on in the other article how to go about them also so to conclude i would say that spider is a spinning a web for retrieval of certain things and here they have given you a beautiful diagram uh, again i've taken it from the same book which i really liked it rather than that animal uh, spider as it is so it is sample phenomena of interest design evaluation and research type and in between you can see how well you are going to be uh, grilled in order to come up with a proper systematic review so i think i'm going to stop here and let me come up with the another uh, video walk of mine on spider itself and we will be checking out much more details about them till then thanks and take care bye